Good morning, Mossville Warriors. Today is Friday, April 19th, 2024, and today is National Garlic Day. National Garlic Day celebrates a vegetable also known as the stinking rose. The fragrant and potent root has been seasoning dishes for thousands of years. This stinking rose is a member of the lily family. This family also includes the flavorful onions, leeks, and shallots we use in some of our favorite dishes. Garlic originated in Asia over 7,000 years ago, so it's no surprise that cuisines worldwide incorporated it into our favorite recipes. Garlic is quite versatile as illustrated by its many medicinal purposes. The mighty bulb is considered an herbal remedy for colds and may reduce blood pressure and cholesterol. Modern science has also proven garlic's antibiotic properties. Myth and superstition reek of garlic. The most familiar one suggests that garlic wards off vampires. This same theory seemed to work on witches, werewolves, demons, and other such evils one might cross. Folklore also tells us garlic grew from Satan's left footprint when he left the Garden of Eden. Greek midwives used garlic to keep evil spirits away, and courage filled Roman soldiers who consumed the bulb. Consider our dreams in garlic too. Our dreams often have meaning, and dreaming of garlic is no different. To dream about garlic in the house suggests good luck, and if the dream includes eating garlic, perhaps in a pesto sauce, there might be a hidden secret. Over 300 varieties of garlic grow around the world to dream about as well. Now will everybody please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Mossville Pledge. As a Mossville warrior, I pledge to do my best today and to be the best I can be. At Mossville School, I am respectful, responsible, and safe. This is the warrior way. This week in our Lions Quest program, we will focus on choosing and researching a service learning project. Our quote this week comes from Marion Wright Edelman. We must not, in trying to think about how we can make a big difference, Ignore the small daily differences we can make, which add up to big differences that we often can't foresee. Service learning is a group effort, and it takes a team of people working together to carry out a project. Coming to a consensus will be necessary so that everyone is heard and feels part of the decision. This week, make sure that your voice is heard as your class discusses your service learning project. Find your voice and speak up about the needs you discover that matter to you. Then listen to others and come up with a decision that works for everyone. Good luck. Our word of the week is teamwork. We have a number of birthdays this weekend. On the 20th, we have Brody Miller in 7th grade. On the 21st, we have Destiny Payton in 8th grade and Mr. Skulls. We hope Brody, Destiny, and Mr. Skulls have a wonderful birthday weekend. Students of the week. This week, we are recognizing students for focusing on choosing and researching a service learning project. In sixth grade, we have Lucy Slaughter, Lisey Whittles, and Haley Balancefine. In seventh grade, we have Hayden Lopako, Caden Bennett Pagan, and Kinsey Schrock. In eighth grade, we have AJ Spitz, Nettie Brand, and Maggie Larson. Congratulations to all these students. We appreciate your hard work. This day in history. On this day in 1916, the Chicago Cubs play their first game at Wiegand Park, now Wrigley Field, and beat the Cincinnati Reds 7-6. Activities Day, we've got Art Club right after school and Family Fun Night tonight from 5 to 7 p.m. On Saturday, we have the ILMEA Band Festival. Hot Lunch Today, we've got Cheese or Pepperoni Pizza, Ham and Cheese Wrap, Fiery Roasted Jalapeno Cheddar Burger, or Sun Butter and Jelly. Our sides are Cauliflower or Baby Carrots and Banana. And remember, it's a great day to be a warrior.